know, we talked about the importance of connecting with our own heart. Watch that one. Another question is, why should we give our heart to Jesus? Some may say, I already gave my heart to Jesus. Like 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 20 years ago, Jesus has my heart. I gave it to him, meaning I invited him to my heart. See, we invited Jesus to our heart. That's what we call as a Christian. We say, I got saved. For me, I got saved January 21st, 2000. Meaning, for me, it wasn't just I got saved. I fell in love with the person of Jesus. He took my heart. I used to tell Susie, when I wake up in the morning, I have to go and wonder until I find my heart. She would say, until you find your heart. I said, yes, because my heart would always wander and go after Jesus. And <laughs> I have to go find my own heart because my heart would just go after Jesus. My heart is addicted to Jesus. Why should we give our heart to Jesus? Does he deserve our heart? You know, you give something to other people, you give it as a gift, or you say they deserve it, or they gave us something. Normally, you know, we give part of what we have, you know. If you have two of something, you give one of it away. Normally, you keep another one for yourself. But we have one heart. You don't have two hearts. Maybe some human, they don't know. They have two hearts, but normally we have one heart. If you have one heart, can we give the only heart that we have away? Some may say, I already gave my heart to boxing. I want to become the best boxer in the planet. And someone may say, I already gave my heart to business. I had just one heart and my heart belongs to business. My heart doesn't even belong to my wife or, or my children. My heart belongs to business. Some may say, my heart belongs to fame. Or some may say, my heart belongs to education. No. Our heart belongs to Christ. See, Bible said, everything belongs to us. We belong to Jesus. And Jesus belongs to the Father. Our heart belongs to Jesus. I didn't just give my heart to him 18, 19, 20 years ago, and I said, okay, now I gave, I invited you to my heart. Now I am saved. I see you in heaven. Doesn't work that way. My heart belongs to Jesus. Not only my life. Some may say, I'm a missionary. I gave my life to Jesus. Or I gave my life to uh, preaching the good news. That's wonderful. But truly, you gave your life to Christ to Jesus. Your heart above everything should always go to the person of Jesus Christ. If you're a businessman, it's wonderful, but your heart doesn't belong to business. Your heart belongs to Jesus Christ, but you do business. Your heart doesn't belong to education. Your heart belongs to Jesus, but you do, you know, perhaps you go to Harvard or you're just highly educated person. Your heart belongs to Jesus. And that Jesus, Jesus' heart belongs to you. He said, abide in me and I in you. We give our heart to Jesus because it belongs to him. It has to go to him. Our heart is his. And then there are other reasons. If I don't give my heart to Jesus, to whom should I give my heart to? Can I trust my heart with myself? Not really. Can I trust completely my heart to others? You know, they could stab it sometime, but still I love others, but my heart belongs to Christ. Then when my heart belongs to Christ, he would say, okay, your heart is mine. Now I want you to love your wife. Now I want you to love your neighbor. Now I want you to love your enemy using your heart. Then we would say, yes, sir, because our heart belongs to you. Another thing is, if I don't really love Jesus with everything I have, I can't really love people. I check myself daily sometimes. Sometimes I get so grumpy. Sometimes I'm just so frustrated. And sometimes I don't want to love people in my heart because nobody knows that I don't love them in my heart in that day. Only Jesus sees. Then I check my heart and I say, what's going on? Then I see, wow, I forgot about Jesus. I forgot about how much I love him. 
I kind of try to work for, for this Jesus. That's what I'm so grumpy. Then I go back to that first love. I say, I love you so much. You're everything to me. And then my heart softens, and then I could love other people. In that sense, my heart belongs to Jesus. Otherwise, my, life, my heart is not good for anything. It belongs to Jesus. Your heart belongs to Jesus. And then you do other things. Until next time, go get your heart to Jesus again. Bye-bye.